Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a sprite change sizes. So right now, when I click on the letter J, it's going to play the boss sound, it's going to change the color in the fisheye, and then 36 times it's going to turn. So that'll make it do a full circle. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I still love that sound. So what I wanna do is I wanna make it, instead of turning, let me get rid of this, I want it to actually change size. So to do that, we can actually, under our looks box, make it so that we can change size by like 10 and then make a change size again and put a minus sign in front of this so it'll go back to its normal size. Now, if I click on this, okay, it changed size, but it did this code so quick, watch, that it actually goes big, small, like really fast, so fast that we can't even see it. So we can actually add in a repeat here and say, hey, change size by 10 and then repeat this again to change size by minus 10. Let me zoom out a little bit. So now when we click on our letter J, see how it got big and then got small again? So that's one thing that you can do to change the size. And if it goes too fast for you, you can actually add in a weight in here. So you can be like, hey, every 0.1 seconds, wait before it repeats again. So now let's watch this. Now it's slowly growing big, slowly growing small. So I actually don't like that. You can keep that in your code if you want. But I'm going to keep it like this. Now, if we were to click on this a bunch, it keeps resetting this code and it just messes things up because it never actually got small again. So we want to be able to reset the sprite's appearance. So to do that, we can add it to our reset stuff when we press the green flag. We don't need this point in direction anymore because it's already pointing the correct direction and we're not turning anymore. So I can actually get rid of that. It's just kind of useless code right now. Now to reset the size, we simply say, hey, set size to 100%. So when we press the green flag, now it's back to the way it was normally. So if you wanted to change the sprite uh, size, you can try out different combinations of code like this, like maybe even try doing something like this where you flip it so that it gets smaller and then bigger, or even put repeats inside of repeats and see what happens. Just remember, if you want to reset it, use a set size to 100% when you press the green flag. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.